In this set of video tutorials, we're going to learn some of the amazing shortcuts in Excel, which will not only help you on a day-to-day -day tasks, but significantly reduce time and uh, help you in terms of working efficiently. Now, we will divide our shortcuts into six different categories. Formatting shortcuts. Since we will only concentrate on the top shortcuts, which are really used on day-to-day -day activities, we will only discuss five here. For the navigation shortcuts from moving one from one place to another place in the worksheet, we learn 10 most important shortcuts here. How to go about selecting a row or a column or you know selecting a cell. These are the seven shortcuts that we will learn. How we can copy and paste data, how we can cut and kind of use that data we will learn all these in working with data and I'll teach you eight shortcuts in that we'll also understand the etiquettes of workbook basics how to save your workbook essentially how you can open your workbook how can you include a new workbook likewise so there are 11 shortcuts and last but not the least we will also discuss some of the formula shortcuts which are very relevant to save your time so let's move on to the first set of shortcut which is the formatting shortcut now let us learn the top five formatting shortcuts the first shortcut is bolding the selection so let's say if I am typing a text let's say we type ABC now if you want to bold the selection what you need to do is you need to press control and B so that it gets bolded so if you want to unbold it you can again press ctrl and b so that it gets unbolded so bold unbold bold unbold ctrl and b likewise ctrl is used to italicize your selection so it can be done by ctrl and i if you press ctrl i again it will become a normal selection so if you want to italicize control and I and otherwise control and I to go back to where you came from if you want to underline the selection control and U so you will find that the text gets underlined here control and U likewise let's say if you want to format this cell further and look at even advanced features you can press control and one the moment you press control and one you will find that this dialog box opens up and this dialog box provides you with different kinds of options in terms of formatting if you want to change the alignment if you want to change the font borders fill option you want to protect the cell you know these are the general things which you can do when you open the dialog box so let me open the dialog box again by using this shortcut control and one okay so remember these control keys this is the main thing and last but not the least let's say if you have some number 0.23 and you want to change this quickly into percentage one approach is that you can directly come here and click on percentage the other shortcut which is very significantly used in some cases is control shift and percentage so it gets converted into percentage automatically so let me go back again control shift and a percentage sign so what happens is your decimal gets converted into percentage format so this is how you know you can learn the top five shortcuts now let us learn some navigation shortcuts essentially navigation shortcuts means that how you can maneuver between the worksheet Excel from left side to right side and essentially between the worksheets from one worksheet to another worksheet so there would be 10 commands or 10 shortcuts which we will learn in this the first one is control page down and what this means is you need to move to the next worksheet in the workbook so say for example if I am right now on the navigation worksheet and I want to move from navigation worksheet to the workbook basics worksheet what I normally do is I use my mouse and go to the workbook basics and click so this is how I change my worksheet so let me go back to the navigation worksheet and see how this formula works control page down to move to the next worksheet and look at the other one control page up to move to the previous worksheet so if I want to move from navigation to formatting control page up and 
if I wanted to move to the next worksheet control page down so let's do it once control and page down so I'm now taken to the workbook basics worksheet let's say I want to go back to the navigation worksheet I will use control and page up so in this way I come back to my original sheet let me go to formatting worksheet so which command we will use this will be control and page up so I'm now into the previous worksheet now let me go back to the navigation worksheet I'll use control and page down so in this way you can use these two self commands which are very very easy to use the third one which you probably are already using is the arrow keys so instead of using your mouse to move from one place to another place you can actually use the arrow keys top arrow down arrow right arrow and the left arrow so you can use these arrow keys so this is another keystroke which you must use now another thing which is important let's say is control and an arrow key if you want to move to the edge location edge location means let's say if I'm here I want to move to cell number four how can I do that control and a left arrow so I will move directly to the edge location let's say from number four I want to move back here I can do that by using one by one arrow keys or I can jump directly by pressing control and that right arrow key here so let me do that control and a right arrow I directly get transferred to the edge location of the worksheet let me press a control and a up arrow what will happen is I will move to the top here control and a up arrow because I need to move to the edge location at the top what happens if I press control and a down arrow I will move to the edge location again towards the bottom so control and down arrow so this is how you know you can use your keystroke function with control and arrow now if you want to move to the beginning of the row let's say you're here and you want to move to the beginning of the row you can use just click on home so you go back to your beginning of the row let's say if I'm here and I want to go back to the home I can directly come by pressing home button okay what happens if I press control and home I move to the beginning of the worksheet so navigation shortcuts it's written a1 so this is where I move up let's say I, I, I'll try this function again if let's say this is where my cell is and if I press control and home I go back to my navigation shortcuts so this is really useful because many a times you know you have a lot of data in your worksheets and you may be working in let's say 800th or 900th line number and you want to go to the top of the worksheet on one side you may be tempted to use your scroll bar on the other side if you are really aware of these shortcuts you can just press control at home so that you can move up the ladder and use and save a lot of time here so this is control and home what about control and end this end function is on the right hand side of the home control and end so what happens here it, it takes us to the used portion of the worksheet it moves to the end of the used portion of the worksheet so let's say if I'm on the navigation shortcut if I press let's say control and end it takes me to the end of the used portion of the worksheet okay now this would be very simple because you are already using it let's say if I'm here if I type some number I can press enter to move down a cell in a range so this is how I can use the shortcut what happens if I press shift and enter I move up the change shift and enter so I if I want to move up shift and enter and what happens if I use shift and tab I move to the left of the text or the cell so let's say shift shift and tab I move to the left of this text so from B15 I'm moving to A15 so if I want to move from this cell to this cell here I can use shift tab to maneuver in the left hand side so this is how you can use the navigation shortcuts now let us look at some of the amazing workbook basic shortcuts so they are listed here control and O for open a workbook so let me press control and O what happens when I do that 
control and O. So the moment I do that you can see that it opens a dialog box and allows me to open an Excel sheet. So this is how I can open a dialog box and open an Excel sheet in a, using this shortcut. Let's say if I want to create a new workbook just press control and N. So the moment I do that you can see this, this is a new workbook that comes this is book 3. So um, a new workbook can be opened using control and N. If I want to save my workbook control and S this is one of the commands which you will be using very frequently or you must have a habit of saving your document very frequently because unfortunately many a times if Excel crashes you know you will have your last saved version for your perusal so control and S so I'm doing that though it may not be visible here at at the screen but control and S will really help you save your workbook print a workbook control and P so let me do that control and P the moment I do this you can see everything opens up and you can just need to press OK so this is control and P for printing a workbook if you want to close this workbook control and W However, I'm not do, going to do that here because I'm just explaining you the concept. I'm still working on other set of functions. Control and W is what you need to do when you want to close a workbook. If you want to insert a new worksheet, these are worksheets. So if you want to insert, you can do it from here. Shift F11 is again the shortcut as you can see at the bottom. Shift and F11, that's what I will be pressing. So a new sheet opens up. Okay, so this is what you can also use to save a lot of time. Another command which is really useful is hiding a selected row. Let's say I want to hide the cell or this row. If I want to hide this row, I can do that by choosing this. I can in a traditional way right click and choose hide. So the cell between 1 and 3 gets hidden. If I want to unhide, I can choose these two cells, right click and unhide. So this is a regular way in which you can hide and unhide your cells. But the formulas which are provided here is control and 9 and control shift and 9. So let me see you know how it works. Let's select this row, control and 9. So this is a shortcut for hiding these cells. And if you want to unhide these cells, unhide these cells you can select these two rows and press control shift and 9 okay so this is how you can use these hide and unhide options let us do the same thing for the columns so if I want to hide the column here let's say so what is the function I can in a traditional way right click on this and hide the column and if I want to unhide it I select these two columns in tandem right click and unhide so this is how you can do that in a traditional way let us apply shortcuts shortcut is control and 0 so 9 and 0 are placed next to each other in the keyboard so it's very easy to identify control and 0 so this column gets hidden and control shift and 0 to unhide your columns. So this is a very amazing function which helps you to hide and unhide your columns in rows. Another useful function which you will find it really useful is which you must use many a times when you are working on important reports. Run a spelling check on a worksheet or a selected text. What you need to do is just click on F7. The moment you do that your Microsoft Excel has an inbuilt feature which goes through a spell check inside your worksheet so it prompts you if in case it finds there are issues associated with spelling mistakes so F7 again is a very useful function and try to use it as regularly as possible